Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured products in this video is the brand new DNA Design Upgrade Kits for Earthrise Scorponok, who's waiting over there patiently for his upgrades. The first set is the DK-19 set, which includes Scorponok's giant gun, gun shield, chrome leg shields, two extra double barrel cannons, and these gap fillers for his ankles. We also have the DK-21 upgrade kit, which includes brand new scorpion legs, two more double barrel cannons, and some shield pieces to really amp up the size of Scorpionox shield. So, without further ado, let's get these upgrade sets opened up and check them out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> We'll start things off by taking a look at the contents of the DK-19 set first. Now this set also comes with a sheet of instructions that show off all of the items you're supposed to get and these are very well illustrated and easy to follow. This set also includes a bonus piece, a face shield for Earthrise Scorponok, which is a throwback to the Generation 1 toy. Really nice molded details on this, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this looks on Scorponok. Now the first thing you're noticing, of course, is this giant gun. I mean, look at this. If this had a proper handle, I could use it as a pistol. Love the details on this thing. Of course, it comes with the shield piece already attached. You got some silver paint applications here and here. Big opening right there in the barrel. So I can foresee another third party company making a giant blast effect. That'll go right there. Now, to get the shield off, it pegs right in. Just pop it off, it pegs into this hole here and this hole right there with, let's see, there's the peg. There's the two pegs right there on either side. The gun itself also has a lot of nice details on it, including some silver paint applications right here and here. And on the other side as well, love the molded details. So we'll just pop the shield back on here. And now for comparisons, here is the DK-19 Scorponok Blaster with the original. So I love that. That is so cool. You also get two of these double barrel cannons, and these have some nice articulation. Not only do the barrels go up each one is on an individual joint but they can go out i mean you could do almost a complete 360 well you can with these barrels so that is really cool i like that and these are just slightly bigger than the ones that originally came with your earthrise scorpionok you also get these two chrome leg pieces and of course these gap fillers and these have a lot of nice details on them as well i like the pistons right there so that looks really really cool so there you go guys there is your dk19 upgrade set 
And now let's take a look at the contents of the DK21 kit. And this kit also includes a sheet of instructions that goes over all of the items included within the box. And it looks like there's going to be some assembly required. This kit also comes with a bonus item. You get a translucent red visor. Now, if you recall, Earthrise Scorponok has a solid visor, so this is really going to add to his look. You also get a baggie of little tiny screws, so probably don't lose these. There's also this giant shield. I mean, check this thing out. This is huge. Great molded detail all over. It looks like he's got blasters here at the top. Got great paint applications here. You got silver and purple. Now this piece right here separates into three pieces. Just push this section out and then slide out the sides. So I can't wait to see what this looks like on the figure. You also get two new sets of legs for Scorponok. These actually replace the back legs, the legs that attach to the body. If you recall on the Scorponok figure, those were all solid, but these actually have joints. I mean, they there is a lot of range of motion with these legs, and that is going to vastly improve Scorponok's Scorpion mode. And you also get more double barrel cannons, two more, and those are exactly like the ones I just showed. So now, let's get all of these accessories on the mighty Scorponok. Let's start off by putting the bonus accessories on Scorponok's head. So the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and remove the antenna. And just a quick note, my Scorponok has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decal. So if you're wondering why, mine may look a little different than yours. Now, I like what Toy Hacks did for his visor, but I can't wait to see what he looks like with this one on. So what we're going to have to do is move this section up right here and we're going to have to get to that screw to take the visor off. I had to do it when applying the toy hex decals. So let's get to it. I'm trying to remember exactly how I did it. I know you had to kind of open him up. Actually, I remember now that pops right off. So easy, easy squeezy. And let's go ahead and remove this. Got my handy dandy R2-D2 screwdriver. I got this at GameStop like eight years ago and it was on clearance for like four bucks. So let's see. Need a little, remove a little bit more. Now not only does he have the screw, he's clipped in right there. So pull that out. I wonder if I can use the same screw. Go ahead and pop the visor in. It's got the little tabs as well. I believe so. So let me get this screw out all the way. So yeah, you don't even have to use the little baggy screw. So now we have that attached. Pop this back on. And there we have Scorponok with his transparent visor. And I like that. I think that looks really cool because I thought it was kind of disappointing that Scorponok had these great looking green eyes. I mean, they got great molded detail, great paint applications, yet they were hid by the solid visor. So I really like how that looks. So now let's go ahead and add the face shield. And let's see, you wanna make sure you put it on just like this. See how this lower section hangs down? That way you pop this on and they actually snap right over the ports and then you've got the antenna attach those and there you go you've got earthrise scorponok with a g1 scorponok look and i dig that i didn't think i would but i think it looks pretty cool because i never really liked the faceplate or the face shield on scorponok but in g1 i understood it kind of gave the illusion that little tiny zarek was all of scorponok's head so now let's compare this upgrade kit with my Generation 1 Scorponok. So there we have Generation 1 Scorponok and Earthrise. I dig it. That looks awesome. And there's what it looks like attached to Earthrise Scorponok. 
Now, one issue I see that may be a problem is with the antennas right here. Sorry for the shaky cam. You don't have as much grab now with these pegs. So you may want to thicken these up with some floor polish so they don't pop out. But as long as you're not messing with him too much, he's just there on display, I think it's going to work. So now let's get some more parts on. Next up, we have these two chrome looking leg pieces. And what they are supposed to represent is bringing in G1 Scorponok once again. Scorponok has chrome leg pieces, so these are going to add to the Earthrise look. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you take Earthrise Scorponok's shield, once again, toy hacks. That's why mine looks so good. And you're going to pop off these bottom sections. And then go ahead and separate these. Now, once these are separated, you're going to attach this to the new chrome piece. And these actually line up the pegs here on the bottom, line up to the holes here, and you've got these holes and pegs. Everything lines up. So get those on. So you got a nice, secure fit there. And do that here on the other leg section. And there we go. I like that, especially with the Toy Hacks decal. So let's bring in Earthrise Scorponok. So now let's get these attached. Go ahead and turn Scorponok around. You've got the four pegs right here. Just line those up. And there you go. A perfect fit. Go ahead and do this on the other side as well. And there we go. Scorponok now has extra leg armor. Now we're going to take care of these unsightly gaps in Scorponok's ankles. And you're going to take the gap filler piece here. And these are super easy to install, barely an inconvenience. So what you're going to do is you've got the little hole right there. Take this section. You're going to peg this in. Angle this up. And there's a little, let me show you. You got the peg right here, and there's a clip right there. The clip is going to go around this section while the peg goes there. So let me see if I can get myself angled just right. Peg in at the top, clip in at the bottom, and just fold the flat over the gap. And there we go. That looks great. And, of course, as you angle Scorponok's foot, this will go along with it. So let's see. Get here on the other side maybe you can see this one better you got the hole there and there's where it clips go ahead and angle this accordingly peg and clip and there we go a much better look i dig it now you're going to take this piece of scorponok shield and attach it to this behemoth and how this attaches really simple You've got these two pegs right here on the original shield, and you just peg those in place. And there you go. This thing is massive now. And the Toy Hacks, once again, works really well with this. So let's get this attached to Scorponok. Now, to attach Scorponok's new shield, what you're going to do is right here on Scorponok's claw, you've got these pegs. You line that up with the holes right here, and there's also pegs that are going to line up to these little holes right there on the bottom. So go ahead and line everything up. And there's Scorponok with that new massive shield. That looks awesome. Now while we're at it, let's go ahead and attach Scorponok's new cannons. So just remove the ones that he already has. And just like the originals, these new cannons have one peg that you just line up right there on the shoulders. And what's cool is you can give him the double cannon look just like the Generation 1 toy. So we've got right there on the left and we'll get the ones here on the right. Now, what's cool about these cannons is with the articulation, they can actually aim forward. Of course, you can spread these out. So that looks really, 
really cool. I love it. Now, let's get his gun in hand. And of course, here we have Scorponox Massive Blaster. And how this attaches to Scorponox hand, you've got one peg right here that's going to peg in right there on his wrist. So go ahead and peg that in. Get his arm forward for you. Because once you peg the gun in, you want to wrap the fingers around, especially this bottom finger. Bring it around and underneath the top finger forms like he's holding a trigger. And there you go. Wow, what a difference that makes. Now let's get Scorponok transformed into city mode. Now once you get Scorponok all transformed into city mode and all the new upgrade pieces set aside, you are going to notice that these sections right here no longer fold flat against the legs. And that's because of the new calf covers. They just don't allow these to fold down all the way. But that's no big deal because you can take these new cannon pieces, angle the barrels forward, and you can attach this right to the purple section. So now Scorponok City Mode has some forward-facing weapons. So we'll go ahead and do this for the other side. Now you're going to take the other cannons, and just like the original transformation calls for, you're going to take these tower pieces and attach inside the barrel of the cannons. So go ahead and get that hooked in, and you're going to connect this to the Scorpion Claw Towers and the other. So now you're going to take the shield and you're going to take this apart into the three sections that I showed earlier. Take the middle section here and what you're going to do is slide it right there in front of the ramp. So it kind of gives a little bit of a ramp extension. These pieces here you're going to fold like so, and attach these to the side of the towers. Now, all you're going to do is attach via one little port. Actually, I was wrong. There's two pegs right here. Let me see if this will show up. So you're going to line these two pegs up, one in the orange section and one right here. Just line those up. And now you have the extra tower piece. Let me go ahead and fix that other one. Lastly, you're going to take Scorponox Giant Gun, remove the gun shield, and take the orange section. You're going to turn around this way. You've got a peg hole right there that's going to match up to a peg on the back of the leg. So get that installed. Move over here and it's the same thing. There's a peg hole right there. Line that up. And there we have Scorponox upgraded city mode. I just really wish there was somewhere to attach the blasters that he came with. But I guess you could just lay them down if you'd like. But still, that looks really, really good. And of course, you could take Scorponox upgraded head. And he will fit down in that section right there. So now it's time to break out the tools, get Scorponox legs attached, and show him off in scorpion mode. Okay, so this looks pretty straightforward. You've got these leg sections right here that you're going to replace with these new pieces. And you can see right here, see the wheel? There is a slot right there where that wheel's going to go. Make sure you have a good long screwdriver to get down into these ports. So let's go ahead and get these taken out. And after you get all the screws out, this whole section right here is just going to lift up. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is remove the tail. And as you can see, it just snaps in. Let's just go ahead and pop the tail off. Do that here on both sides. So now you've got these separate leg sections and the tail removed from your Scorponok. Now you need to remove the gray wheels and easiest way to do this, get your screwdriver in there and they just pop out. So there's one, that's a little harder than the other, there we go. So now we've got the wheels out. 
Now time for the install. Now the first thing you want to do is determine which side goes where. So once you get that figured out, let's go ahead and put the wheels back in. So you got the wheel from the original. It should pop right in to the new one. Yep, there we go. Clicked right into place. You do have to push with some effort. Ah, get that in and yeah, <laughs> that hurt. So now we've got that figured out. We're going to take the tail and reinstall the tail, clicking it in to those little sections right there. And that went in a lot smoother than the wheels. So we've got the tail hooked in. And now we're going to slot those legs in. As you can see, they got the big arms sticking down. You're going to line those up right there with those holes. There we go. Get those all in. And I did save the original screws. So that's what I'm going to use to put these legs back into place. So let's go ahead and get these attached. Now that I have the new legs attached to the body, what we need to do is attach the four legs from the original toy to the new add-ons. And to pop these off, it's super easy and actually pretty fun. You're just going to take the leg back like so and press down. Pops right out. Go ahead and do this with all eight. And now we take the original legs and just pop them right in. Let's see if those snap into place. Actually, there's no snap, but you can feel when they catch. So we'll finish doing this and all of and Scorponok's legs will be finished. And there is Scorponok's brand new legs attached to his scorpion body. And what a difference that makes. Look at the articulation. They can go up and down, in and out, and they're very, very squeaky. You can tell that they're new. Now, there are some Toy Hacks decals that are on the original legs that I'm going to try to take off and see if I can apply them to the new legs because those just look too good. So now let's finish Scorpinox transformation into Scorpion mode and show off what the upgrade set looks like on the finished product. Now that we have Scorpinox fully transformed into Scorpion mode, it's time to install the upgrade pieces. And the first one you're going to do is take this section and fold it in half. So you've got this part right here that you're going to install inside Scorpinox tail. It slides in fits really good. It actually slots in right there. You can see this little section sticking up. Then you're going to take this shield piece, make sure the claws are all the way open, and it's going to attach just like it did before. So get that in there. And go ahead and close the claws around the shield tip. So those are now hid. Now you're going to take these chrome sections, and these are going to actually attach right here on the side. Now before these panels went down and attached the Scorpinox body, you can't do that now because of those gap fillers. So you're gonna take these, make sure and get the right one. I like to have the orange piece on top and they'll line up with the pegs and you just put these on the side. So there's one. and the other. So that works really good because I had little decals right there, make it look like you had blasters. So I like the looks of that. Now you're gonna take these pieces right here and these are going to attach to the front of Scorpinox claws. You wanna make sure the ridge section here is on top with the point facing back and just line it up with the pegs and get those attached. So you got that going on. Go ahead and do the other one. So now he has beefed up armored claws. Now you've got your multiple cannons and we can put one cannon right here on this shoulder, one over here. And for these two cannons, what you're supposed to do is put these right here on the sides. Now these side cannons are gonna to have to angle up slightly because they do hit 
the purple door right there. And last but not least, we have Scorponok's giant gun. It's going to attach to the tail. So you want to take this section of the tail and fold over. And that will reveal, if you can see it, there is a slot that this section right here on the gun is going to fit in. And it's a tight fit. Get that to line up just right. There we go. And now we've got Scorponok all armed and ready for battle. And honestly, how cool does that look now? That is one intimidating looking scorpion. He's got cannons on his arms, cannons on his back, a cannon for the tail, multiple shields. This guy looks awesome and I couldn't be happier. So, does the DNA Designs DK19 and DK21 upgrade sets belong in your collection? Absolutely. If you have a Titans Scorponok, an Earthrise Scorponok, you have to get this set. It just adds so much more to this figure. And one of the things I forgot to show off, the new legs fold even better into the back of the figure. Now, I also mentioned earlier I didn't know what to do with his original blasters. You can attach them to his claws here or here. So this Scorponok is really all armed and ready for battle. Now I pre-ordered my set from Big Bad Toy Store back in March and they were finally delivered last week and as far as I know they're still in stock right now. And I know another set is coming out to extend Scorponok's legs. I think to make him about that much taller. I don't know if I'll get that one because I'm pretty happy with what I've got now. But man, I can't recommend these sets enough this figure is just beyond awesome now. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And big shout out to my newest channel member, Sean Pye. Sean, thank you so much. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!